Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Zidi. Today doing a walk and talk, a little bit TA, a little bit about life. Because the TA that I'm doing today is going to go about life and Bitcoin. Uh, walking out of my own garden into this beautiful nature. And let's jump into the first part of the video guys. Bam! This is my view early in the morning people starting to play golf already beautiful now like this we go to the first chart over here guys this is the first chart on this first chart you can see uh, it's a four hour chart and in this four hour chart you can see that we are moving up slowly um, Considering this is the bottom over there, I think that we are going up, down, up, down. I'm trying to move up to that orange line, guys. And that orange line is now there, around that 40k level. And we already touched that orange line once. I think it needs to be a little bit more down, a little bit more there. Um, and we, we found resistance. And... We are going down and we are going to go up again to try and test that one. And we are finding support, we are finding support on that greenish line over there. So this is short term. But I really don't care a lot about the short term. I, I care about my small trading portfolio that I use to, to, to do the short term time stuff. But for me it's way more important. Uh, while you still enjoy my beautiful view over here. Oh my god, no, you are not enjoying it. Now you are enjoying it. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk. Uh, I'm going to walk that way, so I can see all the people that are playing. Um, I want to help you think and understand how I have been thinking long term, because that is the thing that I think people should do. And the long term, I am waiting at the moment for this candle here to become a green candle that gives me a long flag. Look, this is the bam bam indicator, and the bam bam indicator tells me when to long and to short on the weekly time frame. So every candle is a week. So it told me to sell over there. That was around 60. 2k it told me to buy over there that was a beautiful call again around 30k it told me to sell again there about 64k and i'm waiting now to it to tell me to buy again here if we keep this higher low intact then we would be um, in the run for that new higher high and then moment that i buy over there with that flag that is the moment i think we will go for that higher high weekly time frame i'm zooming out guys now um i found some other really cool charts on twitter as well this one was the first one um what if we are doing this move so the hypothetical scenario in the coming months looks like this sideways breakout retest and then up that would mean it come over there so we already did like one or two waves three another third or maybe a fourth wave then break out and then go to the top at level number one over there uh, and that top would be uh, in this chart around 180k and then we could go into the bear market all the way there to the bottom like you beautifully can see and the bottom would then be at 37,000 US dollar that is a bullish scenario I'm not only bullish, I'm going to show you a bearish scenario as well, but this is a bullish scenario and I really like this bullish scenario as you will probably as well. I have one more bullish scenario, that is this one, I found it on the Twitter of uh, Matt Maxi Consolidation uh, Velvet 888 Velvet and he's saying that what is if, if, if we do this, one, two, that move over there, we already had that, then we have the uh, up to the three. ABC correction and then we would be at that C correction at point four and then we still need to make that fifth wave all the way up and after the fifth wave we come down what if that still needs to happen if that still needs to happen we would still be now in a beautiful point as well because then we would get that beautiful fifth wave and in the larger scale you can even um, look at it on this three day chart in this three day chart if you look at um, how from 2011 till 2023 everything has been building in that same pattern that i just showed this pattern then you can see the one two three four five here you can see the five top over there abc correction then here one two three four five abc correction so then here now in this year we would be at one two three what 
four, five, we can still go much higher if it is up to this, but that would take to 2023. Also a bullish uh, scenario. Now let's jump into the bearish one. This is the bearish one and a very important bearish one because if you look at this bearish one, I found it on Twitter, there's a one monthly chart. Um, look at the bottom. At the bottom, you can see the declines of 55 degree. You see this of the blue line. The MACD, the blue line crossed the red line and then a 55 degree downward hill. Here, 2017, it did again the same. Now, the MACD crossed again and are we going to see that 55 um, degree decline again? If we are going to see that decline, then it would take about three months to reach that bottom green line. And three months to that bottom green line would put the level around 18,000 US dollar at the bottom. So that is like very bearish. So now you have the bullish and the bearish scenarios. And now I'm going to show you why it doesn't matter. Did you see my tweet of yesterday? That tweet was a very important tweet. The tweet about my house. I'm going to show you because then you understand which tweet I'm, I am talking about. It is this tweet our house on the one on the 1st of january in 2016 was 681 btc on the 1st of january on 2022 it was only 6 btc so that is how you can see that how much bitcoin appreciated in the last couple of years i do think that if you look into the future that in 2029, for example, the house will only be 0.3 Bitcoin, which would mean between now and 2029, your capital will, would go times six and uh, times 20, sorry. From six BTC to 0.0. .0 3 BTC is your capital times 20. I think in 2024 even, maybe already, uh, that your house will only be one Bitcoin. So that's times six. So that is how you zoom out. If you look at these examples, if you bought Bitcoin instead of a fucking DGM fund and drone, you would have 85 Bitcoin. That would be worth $3 million. These kinds of calculations are the calculations that we made. And I think now today you can still make these kinds of calculations you can sell your house you can quadruple triple you can times six or times 20 your capital instead of buying all that materialistic stuff that you really don't need to become happy you could be buying bitcoin like that phantom that would mean that you make money by minimizing your spendings which is never bad it's good for the nature it's good for the world and it's good for your mindset because why do you need every time a new iPhone, a new DJI, a new car, a new... Buy Bitcoin. Zoom out in the market and buy Bitcoin. And in five years time, you will be telling the same story that I'm telling. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's short video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And let me know what you think about these style of videos. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!